You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back, damn baby what is up beautiful people and welcome to the vlog. So this weekend Mo and I are traveling to Chattanooga, Tennessee for Junior Nationals. This is a pro qualifier bodybuilding show. I am not competing. I am not ready. I won't be competing till later on this year, but my friend Alexis is competing and she is in a different division than I am. She is in the wellness division. So I will add in a video of what she's looking like. She's currently one day out and she looks insane. So if you've been following along, with me on my bodybuilding journey you can clearly see that her physique is totally different from mine so the wellness division is new here in the United States it's been a, it's been around for a really long time in Brazil those Brazilian girls they dominated in other international countries however this is it's been here for a year now so the American girls are trying to catch up Alexis is trying to get a pro card I have a feeling it's gonna happen so we're gonna go watch and support her and then also you you guys are gonna follow me along around this weekend also I've got some glam to do so I launched my show day beauty so this is all competition hair and makeup so I've got a girl for makeup I'm gonna help Alexis with hers and you guys will see that I'll show you I am all packed up here so brushes are clean gotta add my pat palettes but this little suitcase here because I've been kind of towing my makeup around and just like you know a standard old roll around suitcase and I figured you know what let me get something better so I've got this I've got my palettes in there then and here look I'm doing this one-handed and it ain't working <laughs> I got the makeup So I'm going to finish packing up, then I gotta pack up my food, and then we're gonna hit the road. All right, so food, avocado, scale, chia seeds, peanut butter, water, treat for Alexis, that's not for me, rice, Gatorade, bread, rice cakes, and then everything that I need to eat today is already packed or in here, so I don't have to worry about it. We good to go. And there's Lo getting his water. Get that gallon in. Three and a half hours to get to Atlanta. Okay, but we're going here. Atlanta is here. Okay. All right, you guys. So we're on the road. And we've got two hours and 57 minutes. No, we're getting there at 257. We got four hours. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. We're getting. We'll get there at 257. My bad. It's currently 10 11. Lowe's driving right now. Lo, I have a question for you. I might have a answer. Okay. What is your favorite and least favorite part when I'm on prep? What's your favorite part about my prep and what's your least favorite part about my prep? When I'm in prep. Get to bitch when you're in prep. Okay, so that's the least. I get too bitchy. How have I been the past four weeks? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what's your favorite part of prep? That you be tired and you're low. <laughs> oh, that's so messed up. Okay, well, I asked. So, least favorite part is that I'm bitchy. Favorite part is that I'm tired and I leave him alone. So, this is the last two weeks. Ooh. The last two weeks, I have nothing left to give. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I don't care. Do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So, basically, from his point of view, I'm an annoying wife, and he just wants me to leave him alone. No, I didn't say that ever. I'm just not nowhere near that. Uh, okay, well, what are, what are you saying? He said, you said your favorite part is that I'm tired and I yeah, leave you alone. Yeah, it's because when you're in prep, everything is like, <laughs> like, damn, calm down. I'll work on that. So when you're prepping and you have a significant other, and I feel like I do a good job at checking myself and keeping it together, but maybe I haven't been doing it as good as I thought. So that's something I'm gonna work on. Well, you're fine, huh? I'm fine now. I'll check again in ten weeks. 
<laughs> we'll, we'll do a check in in 10 weeks. <laughs> uh, well, this is not going good. <laughs> Update. <laughs> Amber's a bitch. <laughs> you punched me in the face. I, okay. I've never punched you before. Sure. I punched you. Stop it. All right, bye. <laughs> you guys, that was probably the most hellacious drive I've ever had. The traffic here in Chattanooga is, I, I don't understand it. If you live here, please explain to me why the traffic is terrible. Got here, came here, chilled for a little bit. Then I went to go see Alexis, trimmed her hair, didn't bring my vlog and camera. I am drained. Like, I have nothing left in me. It is going on 9 o'clock right now, and I really need to get in bed because I have an early wake-up call. I've got to wake up at 4 a.m. to do someone's makeup, and then i got to help Alexis with her stuff. You know, just be a show day stage mom. So, give you a quick tour of our hotel. Well, it's actually, it's really cool. So, it's stay apartment so isn't this super cute so it's like a little living room area and then we have a kitchen which is great because i can cook some chicken and whatnot got a little bit of stuff in there that i packed all the things in here and come in here bathroom you've seen one you've seen them all and then the bed as you can see we've been lounging so yeah I am about to go ahead and get myself situated for tomorrow, then I'm going to bed. Peace. What is up, good people? I am whispering because it is 4.30 a.m. I am on my way to go do some makeup for a bikini competitor. I don't know. I don't know if I can vlog because I've never met her before and I don't like throwing a camera in people's faces that I've never met. So I'll definitely show you what her makeup looks like rocking my Fit Body Fusion shirt. Okay, that went fantastic. Shout out to Kira. She was so, so sweet. Now I am at the Chattanooga Convention Center. I'm waiting for my friend Alexis. So she went ahead and got her tan. Now I'm gonna meet her, do any kind of like last minute touch-ups. Last night I went to her Airbnb and I trimmed her hair a little bit. I think we're gonna throw a little bit more glitter on her eyes, make sure flyaways are good. And then she is off to the races. Loving how you wind up for me Tonight is all on me Mash up the place for me Yeah, yeah She just want a high life Ooh, we that body talk to me I need a taste, baby Loving the way Loving the way you move around me No more delay No, you can wait to shut it down Won't you show me how you work it I can't find no flaws, you perfect Cause every time that you come around my way I keep falling, falling again I keep falling, falling again And every time that you come across my mind I keep falling, falling again I keep falling, falling again In love following Friday when I got back home I just my allergies have been a hot mess all week and 
I did not feel comfortable getting on camera talking like that because it sounded terrible. So let's finish up with the recap. So I did Kira's makeup and it came out beautifully. I'm so proud of her. She got top six. Alexis, I ended up last minute giving her just a little bit of a baby trim just simply because I was worried about her hair being too long and touching on her glutes. You don't want your hair to be touching your glutes in your back pose. You want to make sure you got a little bit of space in between so you can see your hair, waist, and then glutes. So gave her a baby trim and then I went through on the day of, smoothed out any flyaways, threw some glitter on her eyes. She came in second place. So I am so proud of her. I'm going to put up really quickly a video of myself being one day out and Alexis one day out just so you can see the differences in bikini and wellness. So as far as conditioning, you want the same level of conditioning. So what is conditioning? You want to make sure that you know you have your lines but you don't want too many. For, for instance, you don't want to see crazy striations. You do want to see make sure you have nice shoulders, nice capped shoulders. You don't want your shoulders to be too big, too overbearing. That's the thing, you, especially for a bikini. Bikini is more so you want balance. You want that X frame. You do not want one body part to overpower another. For instance, if you have really, really big shoulders, it's going to stick out. If your glutes are way bigger than the rest of your body, it is going to stick out. For bikini, you just want nice balance. Now, for wellness, Again, you still want conditioning. You don't want crazy striations. However, they don't have a balance because the upper body is more so like bikini, but then the lower body, they are lower body dominant. Now, you want nice, dense muscle in the lower body. So what does that mean? You want nice, dense quads. The quads are bigger and the glutes are bigger. That is the difference between wellness and bikini, okay? So hopefully you guys can see the differences between the two. Now. As far as the weekend as a whole, it was so awesome. It was nice basically just being in the atmosphere of competition. I got to hug my coach and see her, so that was fantastic. And just being in the grind of competition and being able to actually work in the atmosphere doing hair and makeup, you guys, it's so fulfilling. This is legit a dream job for me. So all in all, Junior Nationals was a hit. I'm actually going to be in Charleston, South Carolina next weekend for NPC Universe. So I did this show back in November. Universe is typically over the summer. However, y'all know last year, we had some things going on. So I did Universe last year, not competing. I'm doing hair and makeup for this show, so I'm super, super pumped for that. So that is the show recap. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a prep update for you because Jordan has switched up the game for me and originally the plan was for me to be doing North American September in Pittsburgh. However, she decided that I need more time and I am 100% in agreement with that and so now I will be competing in October at the Amateur Olympia. This is a show that was never on my radar just simply because it intimidates me. Why does it intimidate me? Because the Amateur Olympia is open to everybody in the entire world okay so for regional shows like North Americans, North Americans is open to Canadians and South Americans I believe. Yeah, it's not the whole world. The other shows like North America, so the other shows like Universe, Junior USA's, Nationals, those are, you know, basically American shows. Amateur Olympia is girls from all over the world. So South America, Europe, I mean, just everywhere. And that, that intimidates me. So the plan is to do that show. And if, you know, I'm not... Of course we play to win, right? We play to win. I'm also very, very realistic. My goal for myself, get myself back in first call outs because I did not place well at my last show, okay? So get myself in first call outs. The ultimate goal will be a pro card. I understand for this show, it is going to be very, very challenging because you have to come in first place, I believe, in your class. So you gotta beat out everybody in your height class and then you have to go for the overall and I think it might, maybe, if it's, I think it's top two or type three, is I think it's top two or top three. So this is a hard one, all right? So hard one going against other amateurs from all over the world. Of course, I would love to go pro. 
But if that doesn't happen, that's okay. We have a backup plan. I'll just compete again December and national. So that is our plan. Really quickly, I'll give you guys a physique update and show you what this body is looking like. Finally, things are moving. <laughs> We're good. Finally, things are moving. So the scale is coming down. When I checked in this past Tuesday, I was 154.5. Last week I was 158, the scale was up, my sleep was trash, and my digestive system was trash. When I got back home from Tennessee last weekend, I slept. And I slept, and I slept as much as I could, and then I woke up Tuesday, and voila, finally. So, um, food is low, no, no, let's see, so she dropped my macros. So my macros right now, I'll go ahead and tell you. this is just so that way you can get an idea, um, if you try to follow these numbers, I guarantee they probably won't work for you because you are not a 5'8 bikini competitor with my structure. So let's see. So today I have a low day. So I have a low day, then I have a high day. So today is a low day. So my calories are 1860 and carbs are 190, fat 60, protein is 140. Protein hasn't changed. And then for tomorrow, which is a high day, so the calories are 1930. So carbs 230, fat 50, protein 140. So basically I am carb cycling, higher carbs one day, lower carbs the other day. Let's get into what this body is looking like. All right, y'all, so that's gonna wrap up June's prep update and junior nationals vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it down below. If you have any questions, leave them in the description box. You know the deal, keep it simple, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.